of London. My lords, ladies and gentlemen, from the world's famous stage of the London's Royal Albert Hall, live and exclusive throughout the United Kingdom and Europe on Sky Sports, big time boxing, it's big fight time. Also by Middle East Broadcasting Centre, NBC, and promoted by Frank Warren for Sports Network, who proudly presents a contest of 12 three-minute rounds to decide the WBC International Super Bantamweight Championship. Between introducing the boxers, firstly, the challenger in the red corner, wearing the multicolored trunks, and coming from Colombia, he has a 55 professional record, 36 wins, 22 by way of KO, 12 losses, and two draws. He weighed in at eight stone, eight and three quarter pounds, once Hamed condescends to go over to get them. No point in uh, going through any long-winded instructions because I don't think, think Perez would have understood a word. Right, what has Prince Nassim got in store for us this time? He's been specialising in quick wins. His three wins in 1995 so far have lasted a total of eight rounds. Due to go 12. Prince Nassim in the uh, gaudy shorts, if you needed the identification. There is diving in. Perez has seen just about everything on his travels around the world, his world championship fights. He's fought nine world champions, but I don't suppose he's ever seen anything quite like Hamed before. see pressure tactics from Juan Polo Perez. That's what he says he's going to do, try to put Prince Nassim under pressure, but there's that confident, almost arrogant look on the face of the Yorkshire Yemeni. And already Hamid getting through with shots from, from all sorts of difficult angles. He punches when he appears off balance. Go to hit him, and he's not there. Tremendous reflexes. Reminiscent, really, of an early Harold Graham, who, of course, is from the same Brendan Eagle stable. still burning for him. We'll find out, I think, tonight, 
Nassim were to be derailed here. You've seen that kind of thing happen before, my you. Nothing's for certain. He's going to very quiet open run, just sort of feeling each other. You get the feeling there's some bombs ready to, to land from either one. Just landed a very clever little short left hook. Nassim. You think your brickwork's safe as houses? Well, you're wrong. Water's attacking it right now. Stop it with Thompson's water seal. It's this easy. It forms a waterproof barrier so rain can't damage your bricks. Spend a few quid on Thompson's or a few hundred on repairs. It's up to you. Thompson's water seal. Buy now. Don't pay later. During crash repairs, does your insurance company provide you with another car? Yes or no? AA Insurance does, so call on 0800 444 Welcome back to this glorious sporting amphitheatre of the Royal Albert Hall. Marvellous surroundings, the tiered balconies. Everybody within, well, maybe 90 feet of the ring. Round two. Prince Nassim Hamad has sold the place out. 6,000 capacity. Nicky Van lets the action begin. This is the round, the second, in which Prince Nassim has finished off six of his 18 victims. Including the last one, Enrique Angelis, you might remember. He takes a round just to have a look at what's in front of him. September of 1992, Polo Perez. He looks lively, just moving ahead well, got a nice rhythm, Perez. If you don't hang around that long at the top without having a few survival instincts. That's right, and if you look at his face, he's, he's very unmarked. time somewhere along the line you get the feeling somebody is going to connect like that left hand from Nassim. Perez is down in round two. I'll tell you what this fellow is a puncher. He's up with a count at about eight. Hamed really left in with that shot. Is he on his way to yet another quick win? Perez is in desperate trouble again. Down he goes. Get up says Hamed. I think he was saying I didn't hit you that time. Perez is gasping for air. Is he going to get up or is this another second round win? It is. He's got it again. Another somersault, another victory. And the march towards a world championship fight, which surely now is an inevitability, goes on. You put them in front of him, he knocks them down. And he does it in good style. He does it when you least expect him to hit his man. He just left in that first one. Got a left it with a shot and put his man over. Well, his family are so happy. He's from the Yemeni descent. They've got a corner shop in Sheffield, which is where Prince Nassim was born and grew up. And Juan Polo Perez is stopped for the first time since September of 1992 and only the third time in 51 contests. Hamid has done it again. 
I don't know what more really you can say about him, but um, well, we await to see somebody test him, but maybe he's so good that they can't test him. That's right, he really just left in there with that left hand, very solid punch, and then plays about when, he's, when his opponent's on the floor. Very cocky, but he does the business in. Perez, well, we wondered if he might have the credentials to provide a serious test, but in the end, he did not. But the problem, I think, now, as we just watch the finish again, is, is this fellow too good for his own good? Because none of the world champions are going to be queuing up to give him a shot, are they? I shouldn't think so. He, he caught him there with a, a short left hand again. Just there, uh, just... Just after this exception. Well, uh, well, I think there, I think here, that Nassi was saying to him, I didn't really hit you here. Why have you gone down? That's right. Uh, well, I thought it was the first right hand and then that little short left hand where he got you know, his weight behind the punch. But certainly when he went down, it wasn't a punch that hit him. And he was motioning him to him to get up, which he didn't do. That's right. Maybe him, I didn't think he'd hit him that hard. But he didn't get up. Well, I think you've got to say, on top of all that, that Yes, he's done the job again. Yes, he's a marvellously exciting prospect. Yes, he could be a future world champion. But did it tell us anything we didn't know? The answer to that is no. And we await to see him in some kind of crisis, which he may have to go through if he fights the like of Mark uh, Antonio, Marco Antonio Barrera of Mexico, the WBO champion, or Hector Acero Sanchez, the WBC champion. Oh, the way he's Frank going He's just blasting them all away with ease. Yeah, yeah. We thought this would be a tougher fight. We thought it would answer a few questions. And he really just toyed with them and put them away with ease. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes exactly of the second round, Juan Polo Perez has failed to beat the count. The winner by KO, Prince Nassim Ahmed. And still, WBC International Super Bantamweight Champion his fifth defense of that title Prince Nassim and he's now got an amazing record of having won 17 out of 19 inside the distance ladies and gentlemen you appreciate it round two. for the challenger Juan Polo Perez but he seems to have everything doesn't he marvelous reflexes and I don't think that Perez landed a punch. I don't think he did. He just, he pretty much did exactly as he wanted to do, Hamed. He just, he just played with him and knocked him out. Certainly not a serious punch. There's his dad. He obviously carries a great deal of power. He leaps in, he seems to get his full body behind the punch. Four wins in a total of ten rounds this year, Glenn. It's amazing stuff. We keep marching on. But I still want to see him in a fight where he is caught, he has to come through a little crisis to win, and then, then you'd know maybe that he has everything he needs. That's right. Or, or am I being choosy? Well, I think everybody wants to see him with his back up against the ropes in a really tough fight, but at this moment they're putting opponents in front of him, quality opponents, and he just keeps knocking them out. Yep, he's beaten uh, this fellow, a former Ladies world champion. Once again, uh, he's beaten Vincenzo Pell Castro. Freddy Cruz in six rounds. Armando Castro, very durable. Four rounds. Enrique Angeles last time in two. Laureano Ramirez in three. That was a good win, because Ramirez has been back to Britain since and had a win. And uh, Prince Nassim is <laughs> endeavouring to get someone somewhere near our microphone. He's playing the crowd, milking the moment. He's an exuberant young man. He's a cocky young man, but he is a personality. And here he is now talking to Gary Norman. Well, Naz, as they say in the best Hollywood tradition, follow that. Well, there's no need to rave on about anything. Man. I mean, you know I'm the best, and all the viewers know I'm the best. Sky's the limit, you know. I'll be world champ to Watch out. That man had been stopped twice in 13 years. What have you got to say about that? You know, I've told you before, Gary, when I hit them, I'm not making a song and dance about it, but believe they just can't take the punishment, they can't take the power. The power is extraordinary, and I'll keep saying extraordinary. It's, I'm blessed from God, what can I say? It's a gift. 
I think he could have got up the second time, but I think he knew it was in for if he had a go up. Do you reckon? I tried my hardest, Gary, to call him up. You saw my hand. I said, get up. You've got to take some more hammer, mate. But I'm too strong. And God's on my side all the way. I'll be world champion my next fight. Do you want to have a look at the end of the fight? If you sort of have a little peek down here. We should, we, just talk us, through your, talk us through your punches. Now, let me see what I'm doing here. That was a straight right, and it caught him. After that, I, I think it really caught him, and it hurt him bad. But saying that, it could have carried on, and he, just, he meant to go down there. I don't know what happened to him. He was probably still hurt from the first one. Yeah, he was really hurt from the first one, but to tell you the truth, I didn't, that went even 50% that went even 50 of my power there. He didn't, really, he didn't even take a proper shot. Look, I'm calling him up here saying, get up, you've got to take some more, boy. I knew after he weren't going to get up, so what, what the hell, there's a nice flip there. Look, just too good, what can I say? I'll be world champion in my next fight. I don't even have to explain myself anymore. People know I ain't shouting my mouth off anymore. I'm, I'm the best and everybody knows it. I think of your division, though, you've got some good champions to beat. Barreras, Hector Acero, Sanchez. Do you fear any of them? Most definitely, I fear none of them. Basically, when I fight them, they're going to get beat, just like the rest, and in style. Early nights, all the way. I ain't going for long 12 rounds, make it boring. People like to want excitement. People want to be entertained. I'm an entertainer and a banger and a champion, too. I'm not bragging anything, but I'm too good. Too good is the word, and Frank, I've got to say, people watching that are going to say, well, we don't want to fight him. It's, it's difficult for you to find a fight. It is. The problem is he's got such power. You know, the, I mean